In the heart of Paris, barely five kilometers from the Eiffel Tower, three masked gunmen waged war. These images show the gunmen's deadly confrontation with the police. Early on Wednesday morning, they'd entered the offices of satirical weekly Charlie Hebdo with AK-47s and a rocket launcher. By the time they fled the building, ten journalists had been killed. The ensuing firefight with police left two officers dead on the pavement. The attackers then fled in a car, reportedly running over a pedestrian as they drove off at high speed towards a metro station in northwest Paris. French President Francois Hollande, who went to the site of the shooting, said it was an attack on the country's freedom. This is an extremely difficult moment for us. A number of terrorist attacks have been thwarted in recent weeks. We know that we have been threatened just like other countries around the world. Threatened because we are a country of freedom. As police hunt for the killers, leaders around the world have condemned the attack. The magazine described itself as the irresponsible newspaper. And it's not the first time it's been attacked. In 2011, its officers were firebombed after it published cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad. This um, weekly magazine is very famous for its, for its satire. It's very, uh, very violent uh, satire. And uh, one of its favorite targets are religions, but all religions. The magazine's 47-year-old editor-in-chief, Stéphane Chabonnier, also one of the cartoonists, was among those killed. He had been assigned police bodyguards for the past three years. The weekly's latest jibe, published on Twitter moments before the attack, was a cartoon wishing a happy new year and particularly good health to Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, leader of the Islamic militant group Islamic State.